Hi guys, welcome back. We are still with the Lifestyle Sunday series, so welcome. I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. I know you guys are probably just as excited as I am for this video, especially if you've been following me on social media. You've kind of gotten to see the journey and the progress of this gorgeous kitchen behind me, which I still can't believe. I'm just so grateful and I feel extremely blessed to be able to start off my 30s in my dream kitchen. So this video is just gonna be a reveal before and after. I am gonna be doing a part two to this video where I'm gonna show you guys all the little details that we added to the kitchen, like um, what we did with the cabinets and like we have some kind of secret compartments in the kitchen and I'm gonna do that in a separate one. I'm also gonna do a blog post for you guys. There were a lot of like things that went into this remodel, like color choices, paint, wood, floors, um, and I wanna be able to put all that in one place where you guys can reference it later if you are going through a remodel yourself. So I am just, I'm so excited. So we bought this home inventory we weren't able to make the home like to our style honestly there was nothing wrong with it it was a beautiful kitchen uh, it had the dark cabinets with the granite countertops the biggest change in this kitchen is definitely the color of the the cabinets and the new countertops and the backsplash choosing the white paint was so hard you guys um, all whites are not created equal and um, I did find this chart that helped me out tremendously. Uh, it's a little chart that has like all the different whites and it just shows you their undertones. So in our kitchen we went with cool undertones uh, so that just made it so much easier because all the whites that we were looking at all had warm undertones and they were clashing with everything in our home. So that was like the biggest tip that I could have possibly found on the internet. I went back and forth between different finishes of countertops. We settled on real marble and we did get it sealed. It prevents it from staining. So if you drop like wine on it, it'll prevent it from staining the color of the wine. However, it doesn't prevent it from etching. And etching is basically doling of the high shine that the marble has. That is why so many people are afraid of marble. And Honestly, we've already gotten like a little, like little pieces of etching on our marble, like especially around the sink. It happens when you're washing dishes and there's like tomato on your dish, it's gonna splash on your, on your countertops, right? You'd have to like get really, really close for it to be noticeable or you'd have to have a really large etching stain for it to be noticeable. If you are considering marble, yes, everything that you're reading about it being delicate is extremely th true. So the name of the marble that we got is called Calicata Gold. It does have a little bit of slight like gold colored veining throughout. It's not like gold gold, it's more like a like a tan color. It's so beautiful um, and that's why we decided to do gold accents in the kitchen. We, we wanted all the permanent fixtures to be silver because I feel like silver is timeless. And then I just wanted to add some accents like our lighting and our bar soles gold to just give it that pop and it really brings out a little bit of that tan color in the marble and it's just gorgeous. Uh, but the bar stools, I just got them in. I got them on this uh, shopping site called guilt.com. This is one of my favorite shopping apps. Uh, it's like a flash sale website, kind of like hot look, but I love the furniture that they offer on there. It's They just have some really unique pieces and that's where I got this. So I did do a video sharing with you guys some of my secret tips to protecting your furniture if you have white furniture or if you have like marble countertops. So I'll leave that video link down below for you guys if in case you did miss it. We also went with the waterfall um, on both sides. So it has this beautiful marbling that comes down the sides and it's definitely the focal point of the entire kitchen. Uh, and we do have a very open floor plan in our home. So even from the living room, we can see the kitchen. It's still the focal point. So I knew for sure that was something I wanted to do. And then on the other side of the island, we did, we finished it out with, with some wood paneling and we painted it white and so we also we also got extremely lucky because the contractor that we hired is also a carpenter and he's amazing you guys uh, he's just uh, we could not have asked for a better contractor slash carpenter he did all of the woodwork in our home he's extremely skilled um, the accent wall that we did right here I'll show you guys right now it, it was just a giant blank wall we trimmed it out with paneling and he did exactly like he got it down to the T exactly what I had envisioned in my head and he executed it and it came out so beautiful. The island was also, as you guys saw in the previous picture, it was huge and it was kind of like angled. So we tore the island out and we turned it so it faced out into the living room and then we made it rectangle uh, and we also made it smaller. And this way it's way more functional. 
um, it opens up the space and makes it kind of like a conversational kitchen. Like we can all hang out in the living room and it connects into the kitchen. And there is also like a giant pole in the middle of the kitchen. We got rid of all of that and it's just a freestanding island now. So initially we wanted to do marble everywhere, including the countertops and the backsplash. But we decided to do the, the countertops in a quartz or quartz quartzite and it's like a light gray color. And I'm actually really happy we went that route because it, there's a nice contrast between the, the countertops and the island itself. And then you can see the marble going up the backsplash, which I think is way better use of marble than having it on the countertops because you can actually see it and appreciate it. This part right here behind us um, wasn't here before um, where I would have like the trash can out. That's where it used to be. So we just extended that counter and we added an, an extra drawer. And then on top of it, we brought the backsplash all the way up and we added some floating shelves because I really wanted floating shelves because I love being able to have like seasonal things on display and that's how I get inspired in the kitchen. Another huge change is our coffee station area. We took the cabinets and we raised them all the way up to the ceiling and then we left the bottom part Part to completely open brought the backsplash up and we added a floating shelf there and that's like my little coffee station I've always wanted to have a shelf where I could display all my coffee cups and things like that so I love how it came out another huge thing that made such a huge difference is we brought all of the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling and we added this huge crown molding like the carpenter that we worked with he said he'd never even seen crown molding that big before but it was like i know it can be done and he nailed it he did a mixture of baseboards and crown molding and he kind of stacked them and uh, just kept going up until we had it as thick as we wanted it and i love the way it looks it makes this kitchen look so grand and tall we also changed out the floors in the entire house we opted for the ceramic tile that looks like wood and it's it's titled white, but as you guys can see, it definitely looks gray. We went with a light gray grout, so it really pulls all those gray colors out of the tile itself. We also added glass to these cabinets so you could see through them and we could display our dishes and things like that. And I just love it because at night, we have the little lights on the inside. They turn on and um, it just adds a lot of ambiance to the kitchen and to the entire room and love the way it came out. And we had all of this empty space above the refrigerator, so we went ahead and added a wine rack and I wanted a place where I could also put my cookbook so we left a little space open in the bottom uh, and that's where I'm gonna have all my cookbooks on so that is my before and after I'm just so happy with it I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tour if you do give it a thumbs up and if I can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up I will do my living room tour next I'm like I'm looking at it right now all that's left to do is just our fireplace um, but we did change our living room up quite a bit with the floors and the new fixtures and the new furniture and all that and I'm gonna let you guys go now I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and an amazing week Mwah. bye